Please join with me now in our call to confession. O oh God, you call us to turn our lives around and work with patience and diligence to prepare the way for your reign, but we get discouraged and give up too soon. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, you call us to collaborate in community to prepare the way of your reign, but we neither trust nor honor the gifts of others. Christ, have mercy. O oh God, you call us to be full of joyful confidence to prepare the way for your reign, but we burden ourselves with anxiety and fear. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us, O oh God, and lead us in the ways of patience, community, and joy. Hear the good news. Jesus, Savior from sin, is present with us in the painstaking work of the reign of God, forgiving our weakness, rebuilding our relationships, restoring our joy. Let us celebrate this great grace by offering to one another Christ's signs of peace. And all God's people said, Amen. May we now continue in prayer by coming before God's throne of grace, lifting up the joys, the concerns, the thanksgivings that we might have for ourselves or for other persons, for situations going on around us. Of course, we need to keep the people of Gatlinburg and the other communities of East Tennessee that have been affected uh, by the fires and the tornadoes, uh, especially in our prayers. Also, we need to keep uh, the family of uh, Wilma Light in our prayers. Uh, that's uh, Nancy Allen's sister, and her husband Jim has died. Uh, was it this morning, Reuben, or earlier this morning? So please keep Wilma in our prayers at the time of her husband Jim Light's death. What else do we need to remember in prayer this morning? Got one up front. Joe beat Andrew. Uh, just uh, keep the family of uh, Janina Jackson in, in prayer. Um, they will say their earthly goodbyes to her on Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday evening, and um, especially her three children um, that are you know, still very, very young. I know they're not little, little children, but they're still children, and to have their mother taken away in, in such a horrific way um, is just incomprehensible. And also, um, I have seen a lot from my friends on Facebook, and I know this time of year can be very difficult for some people, but I've seen a lot of people really, really talking about depression and how they don't, they haven't come out and said that they don't feel um, that they want to live anymore, but they're, some of them are getting real close to those feelings. Um, so please just reach out to people and help them in any way that you can. Um, if that means just letting them vent and letting them talk to you, then that's, that's sometimes the only thing they need. But um, if we can just be aware of that, especially this time of year. Okay. Ashley? Request prayer for the Hopkins family. We had um, a little girl, she's a little less than two years old, that had been on our prayer list for a while now. Um, she was battling cancer. Her name is Adeline, and she passed away yesterday. So please, I uh, just okay. pray for comfort and peace for that family. Okay. Are there others? Donna? If someone else would go ahead, and Andrew will get the microphone to you for when Donna's done. I'd like to take this opportunity just to thank God for... Um, the funds that we have for our PACE participants, we're just a little bit short, but I know we're going to get there. Also, I want you all to um, just remember the senior population, our senior people. Uh, if you go to Food City now, they are, if you'll donate $5 and buy a little stuffed animal, they're going to give it back to a participant at Heritage Hall. Um, sometimes I think these are the forgotten ones, sometimes that the elderly in the nursing homes and who lives by themselves or whatever are not um, really shown at Christmas time how much we love them. So I just want to um, have those people in our prayers this holiday season. Thank you. Thank you. Patty and David. Um, oh, that's loud. Um, I've got a coworker of mine at Food City. Her name is Georgie Coop. 
Um, her mother's not doing well at all. A couple weeks ago, her mother had a stroke, and then just a couple days ago, um, they believe she had a massive heart attack and has double pneumonia. Um, right now, she's on a ventilator, and they're having to take her in a couple days to check her heart and do something, and they're worried that she has a full blockage on the left side, and if that's the case, they'll have to do open heart surgery on her. Um, if you will keep that family in your prayers, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Patty Lynn. I would just like to thank everybody for your cards that you sent to Jim and let you know he's still at Mountain View and he appreciates all of them. We're hoping he'll get home uh, by Christmas at least, but he is walking uh, 400 feet now on a walker. He's able to get up, which he wasn't able before, but uh, he's having therapy twice a day, five days a week. So we're just so thankful for that. Good. Are there others? May we go before the Lord in prayer. Most gracious and most holy God, we thank you for this opportunity to have lifted up these things and shared them with the, the body that is gathered here. And for those that will perhaps hear us as they watch us on the web, you reach out in so many different ways into our lives and we are seeking to reach out in so many different ways into the world around us. Just bless us in those efforts, especially as we share these uh, uh, acts of loving kindness, these cookies that have been made uh, with folks in our community that do so much for our community. Let them feel your love and let them know that we love them as well, that this is just a way of thanking them but also reminding them of your power and your presence. We thank you that we have the, the district missions trailer and that the, the Sun Ministry, the serving our neighbors, is beginning to take shape. And we ask blessings upon Dennis as he uh, uh, takes that, those items down to, to the Knoxville area on Tuesday. Thank you, Lord, that we have been blessed and that you are using us to bless others. Continue to be with those that have been affected by the fires in Gatlinburg and other places in our nation, those that have been affected by the tornadoes. Move in our lives, Lord. Touch us, use us, and help us to feel the power and the presence of your Son in our lives. We ask all these things in the name of Christ who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.